Jackson. Mail call, mail call, mail call. Oh, how exciting. Who's the letter for? <coughs> Who's the letter for? It says, Mail to you. Mail to me? No, it says to you. That's what I said, to me. Now I'm telling you, the letter says to you. Do we have anyone we use here today? Why don't they just open the letter and read it to everyone? Well, okay, I guess that's all right, but I can't stay. You know what they say? Once we snow or hail, we will always deliver your mail. God gives victory. You know, our Bible lesson is about a letter that has the same message. I think it's in the book of Ephesians. Hi, Hope Kids and Jam friends. Last we heard, Paul ended up in Malta after a terrible storm, but he finally made his way to Rome. Although Paul was still a prisoner, God kept his promise that Paul would make it to Rome to tell the good news of Jesus. But how could Paul tell people about Jesus if he was still in prison? Well, Paul wrote letters. Several of the books in the New Testament are actually letters that Paul wrote to different groups of people. One of them was the Ephesians, and Paul wrote them um, to tell them about how to follow God. They must have been excited to get Paul's letters. Paul knew that the Ephesians would be tempted to sin, so he wrote about a way for them to stand firm against temptation. Temptation is wanting or the desire to do something, especially something wrong and unwise, which would be against God. So when we stand firm against temptation, God gives victory. In the letter to the Ephesians, Paul uses an example called the armor of God to help us remember to fight temptation. The armor of God isn't an actual suit of armor, but each piece of the armor represents a way to be strong against the enemy. First, Paul tells us to be strong in the Lord. Just like soldiers who need to be strong in order to stand firm against the opponent, Paul says to stand firm and be strong against Satan. This doesn't mean we have to be physically standing up tall, but you can stand firm even when you are lying in bed at night or when you are sitting in front of the computer for school. You stand firm when you trust God and His strength to help you each day. The Belt of Truth a soldier's thick leather belt holds the rest of the armor together. The truth of the gospel holds together all the rest of the armor. It is important that you know what is true. The Bible is God's word to us and is always true. Some of these truths are God's love for you will never end. God is always there to help you. God always hears when you uh, talk to him and God cares about everything in your life. To stand, to help us stand firm against temptations, we need to remember what is true. Stand firm with the belt of truth. Breastplate of righteousness. A soldier's breastplate goes over the upper body to protect some of the most important parts of the body, including the heart. We need protection for our hearts too, to the part of us that thinks, feels, and makes decisions. Paul calls this the breastplate of righteousness. But no one is righteous or totally good on their own. It is a reminder that because of Jesus' righteousness, we can choose to live the right way. Righteousness is what God sees as good. When you believe on Jesus as your savior, and when God looks at you, he doesn't see your sin. He sees Jesus' righteousness instead. In Jesus, all of our sins are forgiven. Now you can choose to say no to temptation and do what God sees as good instead. Stand firm with the breastplate of righteousness. To hear about the rest of the armor of God, go to the Hope Church website to watch part two.